What's up everybody? This is Dan Rock here coming at you with another great day. Getting in the Halloween spirit, even though it's a little early, October 7th. We got Stan the Man here and Big Bones Jones up there hanging out with some of my uh, wine bottles that I painted and put some lights in. But that's not what today's video is about. Let me turn on the lights so you can see the board. And I'm gonna go over basically everything that I've learned uh, in the last three weeks, if I can get this light, there we go. So my experience is limited um, to about a, three, a little over a three week trip and a little over 500 miles on the bike. So it may not sound like a lot, but I definitely learned a lot. And uh, so I'm gonna go over some key points um, some of them are, you know, pretty obvious, so I'm not going to go into it or show you pictures of which sleeping bag I got or anything like that, but some things I will show you and, um, you know, that have definitely helped out and some things that I've learned. So take it away, Stan. All right. So um, e-bike, bike packing. So basically, um, and I'm also going to get a, a better picture of this um, close up. So you guys can check it out, pause it, screenshot it or whatever. But so here I am in Oxnard and I made it all the way to Pismo. And it's my best uh, drawing of California. <laughs> my next trip, which is in a couple weeks, I'll be going down to San Diego and then slowly going back up all the way to Oregon. So th that's, that's my experience. I went to each and every town there, Ventura, Carpinteria, had a hike and bike at Carpinteria, um, my friends in Santa Barbara, um, met some really cool p homeless people that helped me out in Goleta, El Capitan and Refugio have a hike and bike, Lompoc does not, I did stay in a hotel a few nights there, um, and and also met a friend, uh, Brian, he, he gave me a place to stay for one night, it was really cool of him, and Santa Maria was awesome, um, stayed at a campsite over there. Uh, it's more of like a boondocking type thing, but it was pretty cool. A little more expensive, but it was fancy. It was nice. And then uh, Pismo, which is, you know, always fun. They do have a hiking bike there, I believe, but I did not stay. Uh, so let's get to it. So essentials, you know, obviously water, right? Um, healthy snacks. So, you know, you're going to be tearing up tons of energy, um, even with an e-bike. You know, you're hopefully I, I, I would recommend that you pedal you know use the pedal assist i'll get into that here on uh, how how to conserve your battery and uh, so yeah i'm going to go over the essentials how to conserve your battery where to charge places to charge at um a few apps that i haven't even really used yet but i've looked into it done some research and they look really really good and uh nourishment all right so essentials water healthy snacks you know you want to you kind of want to have something that you can just grab, like uh, I have a little grab bag that sits on my handlebars. So seeds, you know, trail mix, whatever. Um, a pillow, um, I've heard from a lot of people that the inflatable pillows are a lot better. I don't have one of those. I just have like a tiny little pillow, um, camping pillow. Uh, I would recommend an air mattress with a tent, obviously. Uh, Lightweight chair. I'll show you a picture of mine uh, later. Uh, this comes in so handy uh, when you're, uh, you know, you're riding for like two hours and your butt is, uh, you really just can't feel your butt anymore. <laughs> uh, you know, take a little 15 minute break and sit in that chair. You want to make sure you bring all your charging stuff, you know, your phone, your, if you got a Bluetooth speaker, your lights, all that stuff. Your so if you know, I would highly recommend a solar power bank. Let me show you what mine looks like. I think it was like 40 bucks, but it is totally worth it. So, you know, the sun, it'll charge it, but it's, you know, don't rely on it to get 100%. So I take advantage of any time I take a, get a hotel or whatever, but it'll charge my iPhone uh, 13 Pro probably like five or six times before it's dead. So that's pretty good. Um, if you don't have any paneer bags, they definitely come in handy. Um, I actually bought two sets, but I really, 
I only I'm only going to be using one. Um, I only I only used one on this last trip as well. Um, two is a little overboard. Uh, and when you put them on the front, I've found it just kind of sways your steering a little bit too much, and I didn't like it. Sunscreen very important. Uh, stove top burner, you know, just like a one burner. I originally bought this and a two burner because I thought I was going to be cooking hot dogs and hamburgers for the homeless, but it is just a giant pain in the butt to lug all that around. So I came up with a different strategy for that. Um, pump and patch kit. Boom. That's like, you know, you need that. Um, I'll show you a picture of my pump. Um, I actually just ordered a new one too. That's electron, uh, electric, um, and it charges up and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see how that's going to work out and flat out. So there's Everyone's heard of, uh, let's see, slime. And, okay, so if there's one thing that I've learned the most on this trip is how to uh, change a flat. <laughs> I've probably had like seven or eight different flat tires um, from those goat heads, you know? It's just like, it is this it constantly would always happen. So I got really good at uh, changing my tires. Um, Although sometimes, you know, like depending on where you're at, like it's hard to find that hole. So it can take a while. But anyways, slime, um, it works. It does the trick, you know, but I've been doing a ton of research because I'm just tired of having flats and having to replace the tube and this and that. So from what I've learned flat out right here, um, this is what the military uses on their like tanks. So... And then I also watched a guy do a YouTube on it, and he used slime, flat out, a few other things. I forgot the name of them, like tannier liners or something like that. And um, this actually worked the best out of, out of everything. So I'm gonna give it a go. I uh, just bought some new inner tubes uh, for my trailer and my bike. So before I head out, I'll definitely fill them up with the flat out and I'll let you guys know. All right, so some more a little bit more interesting how to conserve your battery um you're gonna learn kind of your own style you know like on along the way um you know obviously you know you i would recommend using the pedal assist as much as possible you know and and try and you know stay in eco mode so you know depending on what your bike goes up to like i stay in like three i should really stay in three and then i'll sometimes go to four and you know, if I really just want to take it easy, I'll just go down to two. And the moral of the story with that is, yeah, you might be going slower and it's going to take you longer to get wherever you're going, but you're going to go more miles. You're going to, you're going to cover a, a longer distance. So I pedal a lot and sometimes I just turn the, turn it off. I turn the power off and I just, I'm pedaling if, you know, if there's a good downhill or something. So I'm not really sure if that's helping or not, but it's just, you know, you, you got to try new things. And, and this is basically my experience of what I've learned, but it's also some experience of other YouTubers, uh, sharing their experience that they have a lot more of. All right. So, you know, simple stuff, duck down at high speeds, a little more aerodynamic coast when possible, uh, position, you know, this is actually a big one position, your gear, you know, like how you position your gear. I've changed like my setup probably like 10 times um, and I'll continue to do it, you know, until I find like the, the perfect way. Uh, you know, right now I'm preparing for my, my trip to San Diego and I'm trying to, you know, lock it in like on a, on a really good setup. So I'll be sure to show you guys before I take off. Um, you know, this was what I was talking about up there, you know, slower equals longer distance. So be patient and enjoy the ride, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to set any world records, you know, on time. So as long as I get there, you know, 40 to 60 miles a day is usually what I'm looking to do. And that's anywhere from four to six hours. So, all right. So this is the fun part. This is the biggest question. And I want to say it's Mike. Mike, this video goes out to you. Um, you know, you you uh thank you thank you for your feedback mike's a viewer and a supporter of my channel and um you know he's like hey you're not mentioning anything about where to charge and this is 
by far the biggest challenge on an e-bike because i mean you know there's not just like open outlets anywhere you know like people don't want you just roll up their store and and plug in so i got some tips and at the end of this video you're gonna see like a quick little skit of uh me kind of you know like asking my family if i can plug my e-bike in but you know you get the gist of it but so there was a guy that i met at el capitan and uh if you're watching man sorry i don't have your name but um, I really appreciate it. I n have not got to use this one yet, but RV campgrounds, you know, so obviously RVs have full hookups. Um, you know, if you, I think the moral or, you know, with all of these, just don't be a, you know what, <laughs> you know, so, you know, if I was to roll up to the RV, like, you know, someone and saw like a family sitting outside, hanging out, um, you know, Hey, how's it going guys? How you doing? Da, 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 da. like hey i'm you know i'm kind of struggling to find a place to charge my battery oh, is there any chance i can give you throw you a couple bucks to you know leave my battery with you guys and i like, come pick it up later you know however you want to do it you know your your own style um and uh i would imagine you know nine out of ten times people are gonna be pretty cool about it <clears throat> and rv inverter so I actually learned this one from another um, uh, YouTuber. Um, so if you if you bring an inverter, I mean the only thing the only downside is you'd have to make a reservation to get this site. So you would get get your own RV site. You'd still be tent camping, but you can use the inverter to charge your bike. So that's not my favorite one, but I wanted to put it on there. Bike shops. I think that's like I've used bike shops, and it's 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 worked every time. So when you go into town and you find, you know, like just Google nearest bike shop, go in and check the, check it out, you know, you know, be friendly. Um, you know, you, you probably need something anyways, you know, like patches or something, you know, buy like a tire, uh, you know, removal kit or whatever, whatever they're called. Um, you know, and then at the end, just, you know, be like, Hey, would you, would you mind if I leave my battery with you and just charge it for a couple hours or whatever, you know, I'll come pick it up, you know, before you guys close or the last hour or, you know, but that, that is probably your easiest bet. And then it works the same with stores and restaurants too. Although bike shops are a lot more geared toward, towards that because they, you know, <laughs> they sell bikes. So, but, um, I've actually never used any stores or restaurants, but I would imagine it would be just as easy. Um, I've heard people that, you know, they go and get some food and, you know, just be friendly to the waitress or waiter and, you know, like say, hey, you mind if I ask the manager if I could possibly charge my battery for a little bit? And, you know, I think for the most part, people are going to help. And, and from all the research I've done, like charging your battery uh, from empty to full is like, 10 cents so it's not going to cost them anything but i'd be happy to pay them five bucks i mean or 10 bucks whatever just because it's just nice to finally get a charge <laughs> and it saves me from getting a hotel because that's kind of what happens sometimes all right last one door knocking um i've also heard of people doing this i would not i wouldn't knock on someone's door but if i saw someone out in their front yard i might ask them just like the rv I'm going to speed this up a little bit. It's going a little longer than I thought, and my phone is about to die. So, apps, Trail Wallet, if you're looking to budget yourself, which I, I, I need to start budgeting myself uh, on, on what I have. Um, so, it, it's an app that uh, only 